So let's look at some of the Kotlin documentation. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to keep our eye out for places where things can go wrong. Um, because as you familiarize yourself with Kotlin, you start to use the documentation more, you'll have a chance to, to note things like this. So the specific problem that we were having before was we were trying to convert something to a number, a string to a number that didn't contain something that Kotlin knew how to convert to a number, like a piece of text, like foo, right? How do you convert foo to a number? You don't, you just say problem, right? Like you didn't give me something that I can convert to a number. Um, so here's the method that we were using. This is a method on the string class called toInt. And the description is that it parses the string as an int number and returns the result. And down here, what you'll see, this is the part that we're looking at now, is this exceptions section. And the exceptions list the exceptions that can be thrown when we try to execute this method and why, right? And we'll see uh, the first one, that the one that we've been tangling with is called number format exception. This gets thrown when the string is not a valid representation of a number. So um, so anyway, I mean, we, we kind of worked backwards to get here, right? Like we, we threw the exception first. Um, and a lot of times that's what will happen. You'll, you'll, you'll find an exception, your program will crash, you'll see what happened, you'll be like, what's going on here? And you'll Google like number format exception and you'll look at the line of code that you were running and, and that's how you kind of put the different pieces together to figure out what went wrong. Um, but when you're reading the documentation, you also see that there's a number, uh, a different way to convert a string to an int. Um, and that's in cases where the string contains an integer that's not in base 10. And that can, um, that can uh, throw two different types of exceptions. So you can see the number format exception similar to the first one, but then also an illegal argument exception if you pass it a bad, bad radix. Um, and then there's something that, let's see here, it says uh, radix and, and I can't, yeah, I'm not sure exactly which radixes, radices would be valid here. So, so that's how to read Kotlin documentation when you, and, and, and keep an eye out for things that are gonna go wrong. So these method definitions will have a list of exceptions that can be thrown out of that method and why, right? In, in what situations that exception would be thrown.